Good morning. We will do creditors reconciliation today. On 30 June 2015, Corner Stores received a statement of account from Lynn Wholesalers and compared it with the account of Lynn Wholesalers in the creditors ledger. If we look at these two entries, we must first decide in whose books the entry will be done as a debtor and in which books it will be done as a creditor. Corner Stores is the business that you are recording. They receive a statement of account from Lynn Wholesalers. So that means that they buy on credit from Lynn Wholesalers. So they will record all these entries in the creditor's ledger. If we look at the rest of the entry, Lynn Wholesalers gives a statement of account. So it means that they are selling the goods and they are will treat it as a debtor in their books. Because if we think what happens, in the books of corner stores, when they buy goods, the creditors will increase on the credit side. In the books of Lynn wholesalers, when they sell goods, they will increase it on the debit side of the debtor's ledger. If we look at the balances, we see that the balance in the creditor's ledger has a balance of 10,680. 10, okay, so according to the books of uh, corner stores, they owe 10,680 to Lynn wholesalers. If we look at the creditor's ledger, it means that the last balance that was recorded in this account was the 10,680, and we will start with that balance of 10,680. If we read the rest of the entry, according to the statement of account, the balance according to Lynn Wholesalers is 13,936. So that means in their books they say that Corner Stores owes them 13,936 at the end of the month. That 13,936 will be recorded in the creditors reconciliation statement to indicate this is the amount that they determined and we will have to adjust that amount with the mistakes they made or omissions so that we can see if the two balances will be the same eventually. Okay, if we read the rest of the entries, goods purchased on 30 June for 7,024 were not shown on the statement of account. Okay, what must we do first of all? We must determine who omitted this entry. The goods were purchased. They don't say that the goods were not purchased. The goods were purchased, but it were not shown on the statement of account. So that means that Lynn wholesalers still have to record this entry. So for this 7,024 rand, they still have to record in their books. Now remember in their books, they will treat corner stores as a debtor. So when they sell goods, they will record it on the debit side because it must increase the outstanding debt. So they will take the balance of 13,936, add the 7,024, and say that means now the closing balance is 20,960 because the invoice was issued when goods were sold and they didn't record it and anything that they did incorrectly, either a mission or a mistake, will be corrected in the creditors' reconciliation statement in the way that they will record it in their books. Okay, if we look at number three, invoice number 9244680 appeared in the statement of account but was not received by corner stores. So they say to us that corner stores didn't receive these goods, so they are not prepared to pay for the goods. So who made the mistake? 
the mistake was made by Lynn Wholesalers. So they recorded invoice 924 onto the statement account of Corner Stores. When they recorded this invoice for 3680, they recorded it on the debit side because they increased the account. Because it was a mistake and it was not supposed to be on the debit side, it means that you have to go and correct it now on the credit side. What will happen in their books? If you credit the account, it means that the outstanding amount will reduce. So you will take the 20960 minus the 3680 and that will give you the closing balance according to the wholesaler's books. If we look at entry number 4, credit note for 400 received from Lynn Wholesalers was recorded on the wrong side of the creditor's ledger. Now this mistake was made in the creditor's ledger. So that means the mistake must be corrected in the creditor's ledger. Think on which side this should have been. If it was a credit note for 400, in the creditor's ledger, increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side. So if this entry was recorded correctly, it means that creditors increase on the credit side and decrease on the debit side. This credit note was supposed to go on the debit side. Incorrectly, it was recorded on the wrong side, so it means it was recorded on the credit side. If you want to correct this mistake, you will first have to debit the account with 400 to correct the mistake that you made. And then you will have to correct it with another 400 so that you can show that the account must be reduced by 400. So if an entry was done on the wrong side of the account, you will have to correct it twice. One entry to correct the mistake that was put onto the wrong side of the account and the second entry to show that that entry was supposed to be done on the debit side. If we look at number 5, check 680 for 4500 was issued to Lynn Wholesalers after 10% discount was received. The payment and discount was recorded in the ledger account of Lynn Wholesalers. So Lynn Wholesalers recorded this. And we have to show now that it must be done in the books of corner stores. The check was issued to Lynette Wholesalers. So read very carefully to see what is the mistake in this entry. Check was issued to Lynette Wholesalers. Who is this business that we are doing at the moment? Lynn Wholesalers. So it means that the business made a mistake in the books of Lynn Wholesalers recording a check that was issued to Lynette Wholesalers in the wrong account. Now, when they entered this, they would have showed that the credit is reduced, so they entered the check on the debit side and they recorded the discount on the debit side. Because it is in the wrong creditor's account, it must be taken out here so it means that you will have to go and credit it with 4,500 and credit it with 500 to correct the two mistakes that was made on the debit side. In the creditor's ledger, if you record entries on the credit side, it means that you will um, increase the debt. So you will add and now you see that the debt increase up to 14,880. What is important in this entry is the calculation of the discount. They say a check was issued for 4,500 after the discount was allowed. If we look at that entry and we just see what, how the calculation should be done, the debt is 100%. 
the discount is 10%. The amount that was paid was 90% of the debt. And they say the amount on the check is 4500 So it means if I want to calculate the discount, the one that I want is 10. The one that was given to me was the 90% that was paid times 4500 and that will give me the 500 rand. So you must be very careful when you do this calculation that you don't just say 10% of 4500 because that is not the information that was given. They don't say that there was a discount of 10%. They say the check was uh, issued for 4500 after the 10% was received. So that means that 4500 equals the 90%. Invoice 979 for 2400 was received but not yet recorded. So that means in the books of corner stores, they still have to record that in invoice that was received at the end of the month. So if they record an invoice, they will show it on the credit side because the debt will increase. You will add it and you will get a higher amount that's outstanding. Now, after we corrected all the mistakes and we completed entries for the omissions, you will see that the balance in the creditors reconciliation and the balance in the creditor's ledger is equal amounts. That means that we corrected everything that was wrong. Okay, what did we learn today? When corrections and omissions are made, closing balances in the creditor's ledger must be used and it must equal, after the corrections, the balance in the statement of account. In the creditor's ledger, we will record entries that increase the debt on the credit side. In the creditor's reconciliation, we will record entries that increase debt on the debit side. So always take into account that the creditor's ledger is done in the opposite way of what it will be done in the creditor's reconciliation because the creditor's reconciliation is done in the same way as the many wholesalers will complete this entry.